are having segmented and targeted market. The next step which comes into play is the positioning. The concept of positioning seeks to place a product in a certain position in the minds of the prospective buyers. Positioning is the act of designing the company's offer so that it occupies a distinct and valued place in the target customer's mind. That is, we've positioned our product into the minds of the customer and they will not want to go for a competitor's product but only go for the position product that is our product. There are various approaches that the companies use to position their products or services. Let's have a look at some of them. First one being attribute positioning. Here the company actually positions the product on the basis of some special feature or attribute of the product. For example, Raymond, it positions its product on the basis that it has been operational for years and it leads to the elite clause. Whereas Philips, it actually positions its product on the basis that they use very little amount of electricity. Whereas a product like Sephora, they've positioned their product on the fact that they have very low cholesterol or zero cholesterol. The second positioning feature is the benefit positioning. For example, over here what the company does is position its product on the basis of a specific benefit which the product provides. A classic example here being Hero Onda, which for years has been positioning its product on the basis of very high mileage and very low usage of petrol and diesel. Third being use or application. Here the product is positioned on some specific use or application of the product. For example, Suzuki Samurai was positioned as a no problem bike for years. The moment you think about it, the application or the use comes into your mind and you would want to go for the product. The fourth being the user category. Here the product is positioned as being the best for certain specific users. For example, Business Today is positioned as the best business magazine for the top managers. So what we are trying to do here is position the, particular, the product only for particular users and being the best in that particular category. Next being the competitors positioning. Here the product claims to be better than all the other competitors in the same field. For example, Pepsodent claims that it fights germs longer than compared to rest of its toothpaste and its competitors. Also, Pepsi had come up with this very nice slogan saying nothing official about it, which was absolutely contrary to the official sponsor that Coca-Cola was for the Cricket World Cup. Next being product category. Here, the product is positioned as being a new leader or market leader in the whole category. For example, Aqua Fresh positioned itself as being a mouthwash and not being a dental paste. This category here is more like a new leader or new product in the market. And finally, positioning on the basis of quality or price. Here, the product is positioned on the basis that it offers very low price or it offers very exceptional quality. For example, BMW comes for a huge price, but then it's positioned in the minds of the customer as a very elite product, a product more for the class and a product which carries a status with itself. Whereas Maruti has been positioned as more of an everyday user's car or a car for every household, which can be very affordable and very available and easily used by every second household. These are the various position strategies which the companies can use.